the New Neutral. Today I'm going to be discovering and demonstrating the Pink Religion Collection from Jeffree Star. Hello beautiful people. Thanks for tuning in today. I know on Mondays I normally upload meditation and manifestation videos, but I just got in my Pink Religion Collection from Jeffree Star and I'm really excited to delve in. So I'm going to put a link below to five of my top meditations and hopefully you will do one of those this week. In fact, I highly recommend the pink bubble technique. It's my most viewed meditation and it's got the most response, so give it a try. But let's start by taking a moment to express gratitude. Think about the things you're grateful for and give thanks. On with the video. Okay, before I delve into these beautiful palettes, I'm gonna do my lip. Now, I look forward to the day when I'm on people's PR list and I get the whole collection, but as I'm paying for everything, I just bought one lipstick. The one I chose from the new collection was called Holy Fashion. And look at the bright, bold packaging. And here is the beautiful tube. So this is the color. It's a really pretty sort of pink, but it does have a little bit of a nude shade to it, which is what I really like in a lipstick. And I do like to line my lips to give more definition. So for that today, Jeffrey did not introduce any new lip liners. So I'm gonna use one from a previous collection and this one is called Calabasas. And let me line. All right, this is my lip look. And I'm really liking this holy fashion. It's pink without being too, too, too pink. By the way, I did buy one other lipstick. This was one of the new colors dropped last month. I didn't buy any then, so I decided to try one of these. I needed a little bit extra to get free shipping. So this is what I bought. This color is called I'm Daddy. And it's just a nice sort of a nude with just a hint of pink in it. All right, onto the palettes. Now, I don't know whether you can really capture on camera how beautiful this is. It's embossed. It looks like a Bible. Notice the gold. And this is the little cover right here. And I'm gonna take this off. Slides out. And these are the colors. Now, I'm not going to swatch everything for you. So many people, Jeffrey's original video, there's a one by Sarah Loves Makeup where they swatch all the colors. So I'm not doing that today. What I want to do is just show you the versatility of this palette. Because I really do believe, particularly if you wear someone who wears a lot of pink and whose complexion goes well with pink, pink can be the new neutral. So today, I'm going to show you just a nice everyday look, something that's not going to stare out at you or across the room but will be a good look whether you're going whether you're going to church or you're going to a business meeting or just to work or just out grocery shopping. A nice everyday look using this palette. And I'm going to start this color up here called Saint Star. And it's this I'm going to just sort of put that as sort of a base on my eyelids. And these colors are very pigmented. See, that's a nice soft pink. Now I could simply put on my mascara and finish with this, but I want to enhance a little bit more. So I'm going to take a liner brush and I'm going in with this. Look at the ones at the bottom. Great colors for liners. I think I'm going with this Vatican Beauty. just sort of press on the top of my lash line. There. Yeah, my cat's a little bit wild this morning if you hear noises around me. But to give a little bit of depth to the eye, I'm going along the crease and I think I'm going to just take a little bit of this Fashion Faith this color right here and just take it on the flat edge of the flat brush 
and just sort of go from the outer edge and just dust along the crease a little bit. It kind of adds a little bit of definition. I know it's not well blended yet, but that's the next step. So I'm going with a blender brush and I'm going to take Sugar Savior, which is another sort of muted soft pink tone, and just blend everything together to highlight a little bit more. I think I'm taking this goldish white princess crown, very soft shade, and just go from the inner corner toward the center of my eye. That's one of the three metallics in this. I do kind of wish maybe one or two more shades were metallics, but there's so many metallics in his other palettes that if you really want more metallics, you can blend, mix them together. Okay, uh, that, that was nice. And then this other soft pink metallic, just take the same brush and just go from the center to the outer corner. Uh, brushes are slightly damp, which makes a little shinier than it normally would be. And I think finally I'm just going to take this muted brush and go with the base color again and just sort of soften it off. Just to let it go slightly above the crease. Just sort of make it a nice soft pink look. It's pink. It's out there, but not too out there. But wait a second. I do think I want to touch up a little bit more, so I want to go a little bit under the eye. And with the under the eye, I think I'm just going to use this Sugar Savior again. And just sort of smudge right under the brow line. Of course, I still have to do my mascara, but this is my nice soft pink look. Not too bold for daytime, but with a little bit of splash. Now, Let's delve into sacred glass. Look at this. Again, it's embossed. It's beautiful. And there you go. The colors in this are Pearly Gates, Pink Purity, and the Glass Supper. Beautiful highlighter palette. I think I'm going to take this Pink Purity and just put this on a little bit on this brush and just dash it right along the cheekbones. I'm going to let it be sort of a blush and a highlighter in one. Just sort of right on the cheekbones. And then these other two, let's see there. This one I think is a little bit maybe whiter and this one's a little golder. They're very similar in color tone. So I think I'll take Pearly Gates and just right above, do a little touch up. And maybe I'll take Glass Supper and do it right along my brow line. Just kind of adding that extra glow. This Pink Purity makes sort of a nice blush if you're wearing a good foundation. I'm uh, wearing the Too Faced foundation that I reviewed last week. So yeah, I'm liking this look all together. Now I need to finish up a little bit off camera, put on some mascara, maybe set with some powder, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and ready to go. So this is my look for today. Using these products from Jeffree Star's new Pink Religion collection, and I'm loving it. Now I've always been a pink girl, I've had, you know, my bedroom was pink when I was a child. A lot of my favorite clothes are pink. I love wearing pink. So this is like the perfect collection for me. But I wanted to show today, you can do a nice pink look that's pink, but it's not too, too out there. This would allow you to even go more basic with just, you know, maybe if you just used these two colors, or if you delved in, maybe highlighted with a little bit of this, you could go actually go a little bit orangey. There's so many different things that you can do with this palette. So that's why I'm devoting two videos to this. Today's video, I showed my nice basic look. First look, this is actually my first time using this palette. The next video I'm going to put out in a couple of days, I'm going to do three different looks using different variations of the pink color family. 
and getting really bold and out there with the final look. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please give us a thumbs up? Also, if you're not already a subscriber, could you please hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications? On my channel, we do everything from meditation to makeup to fashion to anything that makes you feel fabulous at any age. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Peace, love, and light.